What's up guys, welcome back to another Team of the Week investment guide. This week we have Team of the Week 7, and as it stands, Team of the Week just went out in packs about two hours ago. Um, so Team of the Week 6 is out, Team of the Week 7 is in. Uh, if you guys didn't catch the Team of the Week 6 video, a lot of those players can still be bought for cheap, so check that one out for what I pick out as good investments. Um, it is on the channel, should be in the same playlist as this video if you guys want to check that out. And uh, before we jump into this week's cards as, as to who and what to buy, as, uh, as to when uh, you should buy and sell, before we jump into that, I do just want to talk about the support on the channel recently. It's been great. Um, we're getting a few videos into the hundreds of likes area, or sorry, hundreds of views, and we are getting the likes as well. So I just want to thank everybody who's watching, um, and if this video helped you out at all, please think about you know just hitting the thumbs up and uh, and liking the video, as well as subbing to the channel if you want to see more content like this. So without further ado, let's jump into this team of the week. So obviously the headliner is uh, this 91 Higuain here. His normal card is 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 okay. It's not great, um, but his his inform card is pretty good. Um, is it worth 400k? Not in my opinion, uh, as a as a, a card to use, right? So at this point in FIFA, pretty much everybody's got a couple of hundred thousand coins to spend um, if they sold what was in their club, or you know you're just hanging on to it in the bank. Pretty much everybody's got a, a decent amount of coins at this stage, so most players are attainable. Um, so I will talk about players in terms of like you know is this guy usable or not as well. Um, Higuain, I don't see as a usable card. Let's just look at his hourly. Um, he started at 440. He's all the way down to 400. He's going to fall really fast, I think. Um, I can see him even dipping below 300 at some point during the week, maybe even lower. Um, but again, a good striker, but somebody that I don't think is going to be great for investments this week. Just because there's better options in the Serie A. Um, not to, I mean, if you can look right here at Mertens. Mertens is a much more desirable player than Iguain. He has way more pace, essentially the same shooting, way more dribbling, and better passing as well. So, and he's a second in form, actually, as well. So, I, I understand you're paying almost double the price, or currently, but Mertens will drop as well. Um, but he is he's probably the most desirable striker in the Serie A and one of the most desirable Belgian strikers as well up there with Lukaku. Uh, certainly better than Lukaku in my opinion. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot. That's just phenomenal. High-low work rates. He can play striker. He can play cam. Uh, you can sub him on as a winger if, that's, if that fits your fancy. I mean, look at his in-game stats. Absolutely phenomenal pretty much everywhere. Uh, what did he start at? Let's see. No hourlies for him? Uh, Footpin doesn't have the hour at least up for him yet, I guess, not loading in. Um, but look at how much he's dropping. Three minutes ago, uh, he was at 800k, and now he's dropping all the way to 738. Um, he will keep dropping. I see him in the low 600s, I think. Look at where his, um, so his, his other one got panic sold. Let's look at his previous inform, where that was at. Um, so that was around the 520s, right? And then that card got panic sold because now everybody's going to want the next one. See how it's already down at 438? Everyone's going to want this new one. I see this new one settling around 600k, maybe 620. Um, you know, if, if judging based off the last, uh, his previous card. Uh, Fernandinho, BPL central midfielder. I actually think his card is awful. Like, I don't think his regular card is very good either. I, I take back. I take that back. He's not awful. He's just worth nowhere near 164K. I mean, let's look at, just real quick, let's do a compare with, um, hmm, let's look at Moy from last week. That Inform Moy card. Now, okay, granted, he has the same pace, but he has way better shooting, better passing, uh, slightly worse dribbling, worse defending. Okay, Fernandinho is your boy for, for defending. Uh, In-game stats aren't in yet for defer, uh, for Fernandinho, but um, but if we're just comparing the you know the base stats, the card stats, uh, Moy has more physical. Now these cards are comparable. Okay, not not the same. I'm not saying Mo uh, Moy is quite as good, but they're comparable. And Fernandinho is like eight times as expensive. That's absurd to me. He won't stay that high. He shouldn't stay that high. And he's not that good a card, in, in my personal opinion. So another one I wouldn't really invest in that may look like a good shout right away. 
Now, Ashley Young, I think, is one I would invest in. I think he's going to be very common. He's a 75-rated non-rare card. He'll be packed a lot, especially around reward times, and he will be able to uh, to get sniped really easily. Like if you're, you know, if you're searching on the market, I will be coming out with a video that is, um, you know, all kinds of trading methods. So if you guys don't know what sniping is, pay attention on the weekend. Um, uh, an in-depth trading video will be coming out. Just, uh, just a heads up for that. He started at 50. He's all the way down to 30 already. That's, I mean. I think he will settle in that. Uh, yeah, it's hard to say. I, my number for him, if he goes low 20s, pick him up. If he goes mid 20s, I might pick him up anyway. I mean, he will still continue to fall. He's only been out a couple hours. He may even go below 20. I think he's a fantastic deal below 20. Um, you know, an English left back that's a decent rating for uh, for squad builder challenges is going to be invaluable for you. Usability, not fantastic, but he's definitely usable. Medium medium work rates is a little weird for a left back, but he does have the key stats in the right areas in terms of pace, passing, and dribbling for a left back, um, uh, offensively speaking. And then 77 defending is okay, but um, he's actually a, his base card is a right back with 65 defending, which is insane to me, but whatever. Um, yeah, again, low 20s I think is a good buy price for Ashley Young. I could be totally off there, but but that's my call. This guy, also underrated for SBCs. If you guys um, follow any other traders, wow, somebody undercut massively there. 21 versus 27s across the board. Um, if you guys follow Elite at all, uh, E-L-Y-Y-T, I believe that's how you spell it. Uh, really good trader on YouTube. He streams on Twitch as well. Shout out to him. Um, but I did get this little piece of information from him. Just, I mean, you know, I was thinking it too, but he said it on Twitter. I just want to give credit where credit is due. Um, it's a great point. He gets a strong link to informs like um, like Hilton, right? So that second inform Hilton, that's 84 that was in packs last week that everybody was using for those squad builder, uh, squad builder challenges, such as the Icon squad builders, for, for example, or the player of the month ones. He This guy gets a strong link to him. So he's very useful for chemistry. Let's say a squad requires an 84 rating with two informs. Uh, this guy's going to be down uh, uh, like 20k or so. Hilton's not going to be a lot more, uh, excuse me, a lot more expensive than that. Uh, this guy may even go more like 18, maybe even lower. Uh, now you got two informs in your team, and you can submit that squad builder for a little bit cheaper. So he will be valuable at some point. Um, you know, if you can get him in the low teens, mid teens, you know, maybe uh, maybe 13 or so. That he's going to be a good buy. I do think he will go that low, maybe even lower. Uh, Mandanda is going to be a good investment as well. Steve Mandanda, as a usability on the card, very, very good. How tall is he? Out of curiosity, six foot, which is a little short for a goalkeeper, but that's okay. Um, very good card, all 80s in the relevant stats, uh, including kicking. He's 27 right now. Now, this is going to be a card that is going to be like, um, uh, who is that 84? It, was it Kramerich? I think it was Kramerich. So they get an inform at 84. He's not super desirable. He'll drop down. He'll drop down. And then you pick him up when he's at his lowest point, which I will talk about a little later in the video, what I think the lowest points will be. But he's already dropped 4K in a couple hours. He will continue to drop as well. Um, again, I think under 20 is probably a good price for him, but we'll see. Um, who else? I think... Farfan is somebody I'm going to pick up for my team as a super sub, potentially, if he goes low enough. Look at those stats. 85 uh, pace, 83 dribbling, 85 shooting, 85 passing, 81 um, physical. He reminds me a lot of, let's do a quick compare with Jurgen Lokadia, who I, whoops, not Kokadia. Lokadia. Where are you? There you are. Quick comparison. Farfan's actually a little bit faster. Similar shooting, way better passing, way better dri or better dribbling, same defending, same physical. Farfan's actually at slightly better. Um, so if he drops anywhere below that like 15, 18K, he's going to be uh, well worth it on the pickup for a super sub. Obviously difficult to link, but uh, but could be worth it. I use that Lokadia card, and he's phenomenal for me. So um, the appearance of this guy in Team of the Week obviously hurts those who invested in the uh, full Krog. Full Craig um, last week, the German striker who was a little higher rated, so he will hold value. Don't panic if you did invest in him. I'm gonna sell after the candidates get announced on this Friday. I think I, I don't think I'll wait too much longer than that. Um, 
to sell my Player of the Month German uh, Sané investments. If you guys aren't up to date on that, um, Sané looks set to win Player of the Month. There's, I mean, it's going to be a Man City player one way or another. If you guys are interested in the Player of the Month investment video, I can come out with that. A lot of people are doing that, though, so you, know, you can check it out in other places. Um, he could be an investment, but only at discard. All right, so moving on into another investment I actually really like is this guy, Kapan. Um, if you take a look at him, he his upgrade is phenomenal. Plus 8 pace, plus 10 dribbling, plus 12 shooting, plus 9 defending, plus 11 passing, plus 8 physical. And this is a very usable card, especially when you consider that there are hardly any usable Belgian um, fullbacks at all. You got Jordan Lukaku on the other side, on the left back, and I don't think you really got a, uh, a right back. And this guy kind of fills that need if you're making a Belgian team or something with hybrids. His price hasn't really changed. It started low and stayed low. He will be available for discard at some point throughout the week. I recommend you pick one up. Um, I'm going to pick one up for sure. I might pick up a couple because I think he'll he'll uh, stay in this 12k range. But you'll be able to get him on bid for min price. And you'll make a couple of K on that guy if you're interested. I uh, just do want to just talk about Kieran Dowell. Uh, he is an Everton player out on loan to Nottingham Forest. Obviously very, very low price point. Um, I probably will be picking him up just because, you know, Everton player and... Um, but he does have fairly usable stats, I suppose. Uh, his in-games will be telling, but I yeah, just wanted to quickly mention him. Uh, is there anyone else we need to talk about? Anybody else in the starting 11? Uh, we'll talk about Ter Stegen. Let's see. I, I hadn't prepped to talk about him, but we'll take a look. He's a more expensive than I would have originally thought. Um, you know, He hasn't gotten phenomenal upgrades either. Not a great card, to be honest with you. Uh, he's actually gone up. That's a little crazy to me. Wow, what a peculiar card. He's going up. You hardly ever see that. Very strange. Okay, well, Ter Stegen's one to watch out for. I'm not really sure what to say about that. Very, very interesting. Look at his Xbox prices as well. Wow, that card has absolutely stymied me. I don't know what to say about that one, but keep it in mind. Um, let's look at Herving Lozano. Very, very usable player. I've used his, um, his, this card. Look at the shooting upgrade this guy got. Plus 11. That's crazy. To 83 shooting. I can't wait to see his in-games. Um, I think if he's, if he's under 20, he's a good investment. Um, we'll see. I mean, I think he will bounce back up to some sort of, like, mid-20s. Um, and a lot of these investments, you got to give them time, right, guys? I mean, don't panic. If, they're, if, you're, if they go lower than you bought them for, don't panic. Um, one thing to keep in mind is Team of the Week investments are going to be difficult um, after about this one. If you, You'll be okay with this one. After this, you're going to be in a little bit of trouble because Black Friday is coming. Now, Black Friday is... Um, I'm just going to click over to the team of the week we can just look at the team of the week while i talk about this now black friday is uh the friday after thanksgiving it's a very big shopping holiday and then cyber monday is that following monday um where it's like an online shopping holiday right it's the whole thing's created um so stores got back in the black right um you know they owed money and the way they they purchased a bunch of things and and so many sales are done on this traditionally done on this friday after thanksgiving these stores get get out of debt and back in the black that's how it you know kind of originated um back in the positive numbers that uh you know that they're making money again now to celebrate this fifa don't give you any deals like real life store uh stores do at least they haven't in previous years what they do is they just offer a lot of packs and hope you pay the regular price for them and people do because they're crazy now what this does is tr create tremendous supply they offer so many so many packs and all these players get listed on the market right so you have to be careful i excuse me uh sorry about that um you have to be careful Actually, that was my dad texting me and about another video, interestingly enough. But anyway, um, you have to be careful with Black Friday because prices will drop. And people now have known about it. So obviously when supply goes up, prices drop. But now people know that the supply is going to go up and that prices will drop. So what they do is they sell, right? They sell because they don't want their investments to go down. They don't want all these, uh, say, like Timo Werner, right? Uh, I don't know what he's selling for now, but I bought him at 30k. Now, if I sell him, I've made a loss on him. But if I keep him, no loss, right? Now they don't they don't want these players to get devalued, right? They, so everybody cashes out, and now they have all their their money in in coins, not in players. 
So that's okay. So you're not losing any coins now when the values go down. Instead, you can buy during Black Friday. You pick up a bunch of cards, and then their values start to go. They they bounce back up. Let's um, I mean, I, I don't want to make this a Black Friday video. Anyway, um, I do just want to mention that in terms of team of the week, it will be tougher going forward. Um, this team of the week should be okay. I will do a dedicated Black Friday video, maybe out on Sunday, maybe out next week. Uh, next weekend it probably will be out on sun uh, saturday or sunday but don't mark my words on that anyway um if you guys found anything useful on this team of the week um investment guide please you know like comment subscribe watch some other videos on the channel i really appreciate you guys watching the video and i hope uh you're able to gain something from uh from watching this and i will talk to you guys in the next video